What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is the Free General Collective Reading, Capsule Sage, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free General Collective Reading. I got another channel then, so I decided to do it. I was in the bed. I got up. Had to go to the bathroom. T TMI, but real and then i got channeled so i'm here so um only take the messages that resonate leave the rest free general club to reading um thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel i just want to say that real quick we're at eleven thousand three hundred and ninety subscribers right now what you guys are just the best i really appreciate love and appreciate each and every one of you guys eleven thousand three hundred and ninety so 10 away from eleven four so thanks appreciate it okay so Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, um, a particular group of individuals I heard in a neighborhood and, <coughs> excuse me, in a neighborhood and gang stalking participants that performed a seance against a family on Halloween of 2021. It is about to start backfiring in a huge, 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 huge way. That's what I heard. So, holy crap, man. That is so strong if I've ever heard it. Um, that's strong. Now, I know generally what a seance is. I mean, have I ever participated in a seance? Do I want to be around people that participate in seances? Hell to the his no. But, you know, generally, I know what it is. But we're going to Google definition it so everybody can be on the same page for Google definition. Uh, we are all about seance energy in here, apparently. Dear Lord Almighty. Well, hold on. It's not even pulling up. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Seance. Dark side individuals is what I heard. Dark side individuals just now. So dark side individuals that were doing this seance, um, and they would have to be if they're gang stalking participants. And I'm just serious. They would have to be. If they are gang stalking participants. So they have participated in gang stalking a family, apparently. So they would have to be on dark side. You would not be um, not on the dark side if you did not choose to participate in gang stalking. Would I ever choose to participate in uh, gang stalking? No. One, I've been gang stalked, so I would never do that to somebody else. And two, that's cray cray. That's on the dark side. You know what I'm saying? So yikes. Okay, so seance. A session, a sitting, a spiritualist meeting to receive communications from the spiritual realm. But in this sense, it is, um, it's on the dark side. So a dark side spiritualist in some shape, form, or fashion, or spiritualist, uh, assuming was taking, um, was heading this seance. So it wasn't, you know, like I received downloads from the spiritual realm, but I'm completely light side, completely. And have I ever participated in any kind of dark arts activities ever a day in my life? Hell to the his no. Will I ever? Hell to the his no. Do I want to? Hell to the his no. You know what I'm saying? So, <coughs> excuse me. So, you can be light side or dark side is what I'm trying to say in the spiritual realm. Um, you could be religious or not religious, but we're just talking about the spiritual realm right now. So, I don't know if these people are religious or not. But, they definitely believe in, in communication for the spiritual realm. I think a lot of them probably watch tarot readings, or they might be tarot readers for some of them. But they believe in it. They for sure, for sure believe in it. So much so, they have willingly, free willingly participated in gang stalking. Uh, family in the past, um, in a neighborhood, uh, gang, uh, a neighborhood, a neighborhood and gang stalker participants participated in the seance. So 
They believe in the spiritual realm is what I'm trying to say. But I think they do it on the dark side. They have to do it on the dark side. They have to. They just straight up for real for real have to. And that's just the truth. I heard it was done on Halloween of 2021. So the most recent Halloween, because it's March 11th, 2022 right now, 128 a.m., March 11th, 2022. So it had, it, I mean, it was the last Halloween. So um, I heard it's about to severely start backfiring on them in a huge way. Huge way. So you plug it in how it resonates. One of these particular people is about to start having severe mental health issues. Hearing voices, but not from the spiritual realm. It's about to drive them into a mental institution very soon. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Dear God, this is strong and terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so... It's a bunch of people that participate in the seance against the family, apparently. A bunch. Um, they believe in the spiritual realm. They believe in ghosts and spirits and spiritual realm and being able to psychic medium and channel energy from the spiritual realm into the 3D, which is living people's world, basically. Um, this is 5D spiritual um, community and energy right here. So um, they believe in it. They believe in it, but... They do it on the dark side. I mean, you wouldn't be hanging around gang stalkers if you wasn't on the dark side. And I'm just being broke real about that. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's so bad. I mean, I think the neighborhood energy is this family's neighborhood. I think the family, I think the family's neighborhood, um, they probably want them out for some reason to take them out, like out of the world or want them to move out. Um, however that resonates, but that's really sad. But I heard it's about to start backfiring. Heard one, but a lot of people participated. I'm feeling it's probably the family's neighborhood or somebody else's neighborhood, but probably the family's neighborhood. And gang stalking participants. So, I mean, all these crazies basically together. Channel, channel from the spiritual realm. That's some scary, scary, scary shiznit. Just saying, just saying. It's scary. It is scary, scary, scary. That is scary. That's a lot of dark energy together. In a vicinity. I wouldn't want to be a part of that shiznit. And that's just the truth. But how that resonates. I heard one of the individuals. There's a, It sounds like a ton of, ton, of, ton of them participated. One of these particular individuals. And I didn't hear if it was a masculine or femme. I didn't hear a sign on that person. That's about to start experiencing this. I heard they're about to start hearing voices. Hearing voices. But it's not from the spiritual realm. I heard it's about to be so bad. It's about to drive them into a mental institution. So... Okay, so most of you guys know my subscribers. Um, I mean, I've been on here almost two years. Most of you know how it works. Um, and that's just truth in spiritual realm. But these voices are not for the spiritual realm. I heard from the spiritual realm. <laughs> I heard they're not for the spiritual realm. So I'm thinking it's like um, hallucinogen, hallucinogen, like auditory hallucinogen type voices. And not channeling energy from the spiritual realm in a light side way. Because, I mean, there's a lot of us on YouTube. There's a lot of us on YouTube and other platforms that channel um, auditory um, clear audience from the spiritual realm. A lot of us. And I love you guys so much. Um, but do we harm ourselves or anybody else? And are they negative messages towards us? No. We are sent here to deliver them to the collective to help others, basically. Uh, the ones that do receive the clairaudience. Now, there's some that receive clairvoyance, which is the um, visions from the spiritual realm. Same thing. It doesn't harm themselves or anybody else. And they're sent to help um, the, the collective, basically. Um, but when you start receiving voices that are not from the spiritual realm, and especially voices that drive you into a mental institution, that that's um that is a completely different ball game is what I'm trying to say. Completely different ball game, man. Completely. I would never want to be a part of that ball game. Ever freak a freak a day in my life. And that's just the truth. I don't ever ever want to be a part of that ball game. Hell to the his no. Um I heard it's gonna drive them into a mental institution. So I don't know what they're gonna hear, is what I'm trying to say. It makes me wonder it makes me wonder what they're gonna hear. It's probably not gonna be something um pleasant. 
Um, it sounds like it's backfiring energy from the Halloween of 2021 seance, um, trying to attack a family through the spiritual realm. That's exactly what it sounds like. Um, it most certainly is. Severe backfiring energy. It most certainly is severe back, backfiring energy. That's what I just heard. Yeah. This is sad. So, yeah. That's confirmation from the spiritual realm. So, it is. It is severe backfiring energy from um, from the, basically, the spirit, spiritual attack on, and I heard specifically, Halloween of 2021 on a family. I mean, that is so sad. I mean, it's. And I heard specifically, whoever this person is, that was either they're part of the neighborhood that was trying to attack the family or part of the gang stalkers that was uh, attacking the family, however that resonates, it's not going to be, ple I'm assuming the messages are not going to be pleasant. I didn't hear what kind of messages they're going to hear, but it's not going to be pleasant. Um, it's really, it's terrible is what it is. It's really terrible. But in all fairness, they shouldn't have done that channel in to the spiritual community and spiritual realm to try to harm a family and use that. It sounds like a COVID. It sounds like a damn COVID that did it. And I didn't hear it was a COVID that did it, but it sounds like a damn black magic COVID that got together to pull their energy and their skills and their talents on the dark realm to harm a damn family. That's exactly what it sounds like. And I mean, I'm serious. I hate to say that. I really do. But it does. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spare so messages you have to plug it. Despair. Yeah, you can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. Despair. And marriage reversed. We have 32, number 32 and 3. These could be very significant numbers in one's life. Um, number 32 and 3. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible social security card number. Possible um, jersey number 32 and 3. Despair upright marriage reversed. All these people are about to get their karma in many ways, many different ways, and quickly. Oh, my Lord. I heard all these people are about to get their karma in many different ways and quickly. Um, so you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. So some kind of um, karmic energy coming towards these Gang stalker participants in a neighborhood. I feel the neighborhood of the family because why else would a neighborhood come against a family if it wasn't their own neighborhood? I think trying to scare them, trying to get them to move out, or to try to end their life, possi lives possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. But they want wanted ill will upon this family, obviously, or they wouldn't have done this. But I heard negative karma is about to come upon them um, soon and quickly. So despair, I feel this is despair energy is of the gang stalker participants of the past and of this po possibly the neighborhood of the family. I heard neighborhood. So to me, it makes deductive, logical and reasoning sense here to say it's the neighborhood of the family. And I'm serious about that. I think they want them out of the neighborhood because I think it's a coven. I think it's a coven that lives in that damn neighborhood and they know this family doesn't want any part of it. So exactly what I think. Someone's getting a huge ass wake up call. Someone not connected to these gang stalkers or or Coven. Oh man, I just heard Coven. Oh my God. Heard someone's getting a huge ass wake up call. Someone not connected to the gang stalkers or the Coven. Um, yeah, I think it's a Coven that lives in their neighborhood. I'm serious because why else would it, a freaking neighborhood come together uh, against a family? Um, unless it was a freaking COVID. And I'm serious. But I think the family says to the their freaking selves and they're pissed because the family don't want to be a part of the COVID or they know the family is not that way and they know there's no way they could come to them and say, hey, you want to be a part of my Black Magic COVID? I mean, because you do that and, that and those people aren't part of dark arts or COVID, they're going to call the police on your ass. 
You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I heard so. Um, so it might be you um, getting a huge wake up call that's not a part of the um, COVID, COVID, and then family's neighborhood. I'm feeling, um, or the gang stalker participants. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, or it could be somebody you're connect connected to you, but somebody is. Um, and I'm thinking this despair energy, is, like I said, is for the COVID because um, 555 energy change um, coming very soon. Huge changes. 555 energy coming soon. Many changes. So, yeah, I think this um, COVID possibly in the family's neighborhood and the gang stalker participants, I'm assuming that doesn't live in the neighborhood, that just participated and want to be evil and criminal to this family. Um, they're going to be in despair. I heard they're all going to get karma in many different negative ways. So it's, you can get positive karma or you can get negative karma. In this sense, these people are about to get negative karma. But the thing is, is what you put into the universe always comes back to you either negatively or positively, either soon or it takes a while. In this sense, I mean, we're in March 11, 2022. I heard it was, um, Halloween of 2021. So that was like October 31st of 2021, November, December, January, February, March, five months away. I mean, so it's taken five months for their karma to cycle around, but it is about to start cycling around. And I heard quickly. So maybe you person that's, um, that's not a part of the COVID or, um, or was a gang stalking participant in the family. I think you might be connected to one of these people that's about to start receiving very heavy negative karma quickly. And that's why you're going to get the wake up call. Uh, possibly, possibly. You have to, uh, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. But I think you're about to start seeing changes. I heard 555 change energy in here. Um, so I think a lot of you guys that are not the gang stalkers, that were not the gang stalkers of the family and did not participate in the seance, and you aren't in the um, Black Magic Coven, um, connected around this family, I feel in their neighborhood, I think you're about to start seeing changes in these people in the COVID neighborhood and in um, um, the gang stalkers that gang stalk, uh, participate in the gang stalking in the past. Um, you're about to start seeing a lot of despair in them. I heard negative karma. So it's negative energy about to come towards them. Now, Negative karma comes in a million, million, million different ways. A million. It can be sickness. It can be motor vehicle accidents. It can be um, um, a, a loss of a job, um, like a, a not a wrongful termination, like a rightful termination um, energy. I, I'm serious about that. Um, or it could be, you know, a demotion or... Um, a breakup or someone leaving in the middle of the night, um, some kind of loss of investment in some shape, form, or fashion, um, something negative, something negative. I'm just trying to give examples of what I feel it could be. Um, but something negative, whatever that is, is what I'm trying to say, okay? Uh, but it's going to leave them in despair. And then we have marriage reverse too. I'm kind of curious on if I hear anything on this and well and one person in this mix is going to start hearing auditory hallucinations now you know clear audience for the spiritual realm like I get that's not auditory hallucinations that is spiritual guidance from the universe um and I didn't start receiving these messages for anybody just tuning in and you know not daily squat of me um I didn't start receiving spiritual realm player audience myself personally until um, April of 2020 when I was actively, me and my me and my kids were actively being gang stalked in the universe to let everybody know. Um, and I have received it ever since and it's gotten stronger and my connection with the spiritual realm has gotten stronger. It's developed into psychic medium abilities. Um, I connect with people's loved ones, deceased, passed over loved ones. I mean, it's gotten that strong. So, I mean, it's actually turned out to be a huge blessing for me. Um, I didn't like it at first. I didn't want it at first. But now I realize why I got it. Um, and it makes complete sense. And I'm very much at peace with it now. Um, you know, so, of course, everybody's different. And that's just how it turned out for me to let everybody know that just is recently tuning in because I've had a lot of um, new subscribers recently. 
Um, but yeah, so, but what I'm trying to say is clairaudience or clairvoyance or psychic medium abilities or strict dreams capabilities on the spiritual realm, that is not auditory hallucinations in the 3D realm is what I'm trying to say. It's two completely different things, two completely different things. So whoever this person that's about to, that participated in, either in the black magic coven or a gang stalker participant of this family in the past, that's about to start receiving the 3D auditory hallucinations and they're not spiritual realm related. They're about to be in despair because um, it's so bad it's about to send them to a mental institution. So I'm thinking they're going to start hearing very, very negative things, um, auditory wise. Um, I hope it. I, I don't. I don't know if it's. I don't know what it is. I didn't hear what it is, but it makes me wonder if it's like negative things towards themselves or negative things towards others or something like that. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear what it was. I would love to know. Um, maybe. I mean, because. This is terrible. Hopefully it could help this person, but I didn't hear what it was, but they're going to be in despair. Uh, so much so they're going to go, to, um, I heard it's going to end up sending them to a mental health institution, behavioral health. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. And then marriage reverse. One particular person that participated in this gang stalking in the past was planning on getting married soon. But things are about to start coming crashing, coming crashing down for this person soon and quickly. Oh my goodness. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So we have at least two people of these participants. We, I, we've heard two things that's going to happen to at least two of these people soon of the COVID, it, it could be somebody that was part of this COVID or somebody that was part of the gang stalking participants that I think is connected to this COVID. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates, but we've heard at least two things that's going to happen, but I heard negative harm is going to come soon and quickly and in many different facets. So I feel it's a ton of these people about to experience negative karma that did this to this family in the past, but we've heard two instances of what's going to happen and both of them are terrible. So you plug it in how it resonates, but the other one, you know, one was the um, about to start receiving 3D auditory hallucinations and it's going to um, be so bad it's going to send them to a mental health institution. The other one is this one. Um, I heard whoever this person is and I didn't hear if they're masculine or feminine and I didn't hear a sign on them, but I heard they're, plan they're planning on getting married soon. They were planning on getting married soon, but I heard um, basically negative karma is coming for them and it sounds like a ton of negative series of chain of events are about to occur in their life and it's about to start come crashing down. So I think their relationship is going to, obviously I think the relationship's about to crash, crash and burn. Uh, for some, they could be on a break. For some, it could be a breakup. For some, it could be a third party or a situationship exposed or something of that nature. But somehow the relationship is about to start come crashing down to the point where I'm assuming it, there will be no marriage. For some, they could already be... Um, uh, engaged possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. We have marriage reversed. So, I mean, they were planning on getting married. So I feel for some of these people, they might already be engaged. For some, maybe they were planning on getting engaged and then maybe they find out something on their partner um, or they find out some information or something or something happens to them or their proposed partner over here to where, um, or maybe the finances fall apart. I heard their life's about to start falling apart. So I, that obviously includes the relationship. It might include money. It might include a business or businesses. It might include health. I'm not sure, but some kind of life falling apart and quickly. And it obviously includes the relationship. So marriage reverse, that's the relationship falling apart and other aspects of their life. You plug it in, how it resonates. That's why I don't have friends, you guys, because there's too many shiesty ass people out there. Um, that participate in shiesty ass stuff like this. Um, and I get made fun of a lot in the 3D for not having friends. And I'm just serious. I do. I get made fun of a lot in the 3D for not having friends. But that's okay. Because um, I can laugh about it because I don't have any friends. And I can say I don't. And I'm comfortable enough with myself. I'm cool. I'm cool with that. Because um, I don't want to be in the middle of any crazy shit like this. I don't want negative karma like this. You know what I'm saying? This is crazy. I mean, they're, this pe these people are pulling despair, upright, marriage, reverse. Yikes. I, I mean, I would rather be friendless and live happy with my kids and travel 
um, then um, have to go through this crap, you know, but you plug it in how it resonates. Or let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. Well, I hope I hope this helped, and I love you guys so much. Namaste.